Oh, hello and good morning. Today's Saturday the 19th of June and you join me on the River Neen at uh, the bottom end of Elton. Some people might call it uh, Nassington, but I, I refer to this as the, the bottom end of Elton. On the Neen Angler stretch, uh, we've got extra water in the river, a bit of extra colour, a fair bit of rubbish coming through. And anyway, we're going to target the bream in the river and uh, got a fish ground bait feeder and see how we get on. I haven't fished along here for probably two, a couple of years now. But I've caught odd bream along here, I've never caught many, but I've had a few. I think with the conditions we could we could catch them anywhere along here, so uh, it's always worth a go. Anyway, we'll see how we get on. There we go, just had my first bite after oh, what, 16 minutes. And we're latched on to <clears throat> what feels like a bream. Bit awkward because there's a quite a bit of current that's taking the fish downstream. And obviously you've probably seen the in the video that I've got a bush just right below me, which makes it difficult. So you've got to get the rod low and make sure the fish comes under. That I don't know, like it, it's going like hell. Coming like a sack, and then once it's in the margin, it's putting up a good account of itself. There we go. Well, that's a great way to start the session. There we go. Second chuck after that. Uh, Rain, we're in again. Unfortunately, this one's not gone downstream.
And the fish number two. Not as big as the first one, but you know, catch fish like that any day of the week. Be more than happy. Well, see so if we can get a few more. Mm -hmm. Just have my third bite. Interesting, just provide that cast, I just saw a green top in the swim. Which is unusual, you don't normally get green top in so much in the daytime, normally early morning, but um, I think time's about, what's time? Probably about quarter to nine now. I started at eight o'clock. This one's, this one's got downstream a bit, so I have to be careful with that bush. Jesus Christ, what's hanging on? Jesus Christ. I can't believe where it is, I've just seen it top the, completely the other side of this tree. I'll be lucky if I get it out. Yeah, just come up to the surface the other side of this bush. No, lost it in the tree. Jesus Christ. Yeah, completely got downstream of me. Line was right under the right under the bush there, and I actually see the fish roll through the foliage. Unbelievable. That's trouble soon. You get a bit of flow on the water. Even though it's only a bream, they don't fight hard. They get downstream here and uh, like I say, when you've got pegs like this, it's a bit like a parrot cage. It's uh, it's a bit challenging. But anyway, got a few fish in front of me, so uh, it's very heartening. We'll get back out so we can get another one. It's another bite straight away, but it's only a small fish. Yeah. Nice little hand-sized skimmer. Not really what I wanted, but nice to see them in the river. I think we've got it through. I think we've got it through the bush. I didn't think I was going to get that. Out of there, it was right under. Mm, we ain't won yet, but uh, I think the biggest trauma's over. Fair old fish. <laughs> so, as you say, bring don't fight. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's off, it's swimming away.
That's one angry big old lump. Oh, dear, oh dear. Oh, no wonder that one posed me a bit of problem. It's seven and a half pound. Big old fish to get uh, get across that flow. Like I say, it ended up under the tree again, like like another one I had earlier. And uh, didn't think I was going to get it out. But uh, anyway, we got it. So onwards and upwards. There's some animals out here today. Jesus Christ, we're in. There we go, look at that. Ooh. We don't want to be juggling bream today. A quick update, been fishing just over an hour now. I think I've had six bream. Um, six bream, a couple of hybrids and skimmer. Lost another bream down under the bush there. So it's going quite well. Um, good conditions, we're overcast. And uh, like I say, the river's got colour in it, it's flowing. Only downside is we've got a bit of debris in the mix, but uh, yeah, interesting session so far, so uh, carry on, see how we get on. Okay, just quickly go through the bait today. It's stuff I normally use. Ground baits, evolved baits, sweet fish meal gold, and their F1 and skimmer mix, which is a green colour, mix 50-50. And in that I'm putting a few micro pellets, some casters, and some chopped worm. And on the hook, I'm just fishing with chop worm, I mean with a half a dendrobina and a what's this? And a red maggot. It's not very big, but it's a hybrid, so you're not there like the man. a few of them in between the big fish. Okay, quick chat about the tackle we're using today. Today using 13 foot feeder rod with a 90 gram casting weight, which is just about okay. Perhaps could do a little bit more backbone when the bigger fish get below the tree to haul them out, but yeah, it's coping alright. Got a two ounce tip in, 
perhaps be better with a three ounce, but two ounces is okay. Because again, we're looking for drop backs, we're not particularly looking for the tip to pull round. Got that with a 4,000 reel. Got five pound line straight through. And the rig is just basically a straight ledger rig. With a small twizzled loop and a quick connector. It's got a little stop just above it, so we've just got a little bit of movement and then it acts as a bolt rig. Like I say, the fish tech it, it hit the stop, dislodge the feeder, tip comes springing back, and generally it's fish on. Generally the best way sort of way to fish when there's a bit of flow on the water and uh, fishing with the rod up in the air. Like I say watching for the drop back bites. Anyway, that's what we're doing. That's how we're doing it and that's the gear we're using. So, if that helps you, great. Come on. Okay, just a quick update. Um, been fishing a couple of hours now. First hour was pretty frantic, six or seven bream, a couple of skimmers and hybrids. Second hour, predominantly, I've just had, I think I've had six small fish. I've had skimmers, chublet, a perch. And then just as about to uh, do the update of a couple of minutes ago, I just had a clonking grip bite and I've had another bream. So, uh, so I went an hour without any bream, and I've just had one, so that's probably given me enough encouragement to stay a bit longer. And we're into what feels like another fish. Looks like a nice hybrid. Probably about a pound, just over. A bit battered that one, but nice fish.
There we go. I don't know what that is, kind of. It's eight, nine now. But they're still coming steadily. Other than angry hybrids, that can be a bit awkward for their size. There we go. Okay, I'm on my last cast now. We've come up to three hours. Last couple of hours have been a bit patchy. I've had, I think I've had three more bream, a few hybrids and skimmers and bits and bobs. So there's been stuff to keep me occupied and amused. Uh, but seem to be struggling even more in the last half hour. But I've had an otter in the swim, so maybe it's unsettled the fish a bit. I don't know. But uh, yeah, the water level's come up a little bit. I think the flow's picked up a little bit and we've definitely got more more rubbish coming down now but all in all conditions are fairly good and uh, it's been a productive uh, short session this morning and uh, bodes well because they, they've got a match on here tomorrow and uh, be interested to see the result of that and be a few bream caught along here possibly up the other end as well. So be interesting to see the results. Anyway, I'm gonna get a couple more minutes, wind it in, get some gear packed up and then we'll have a look at the fish. Well, I reckon I'm getting close to 40 pounds. So can't can't be sniffed at can it? Anyway, we'll see you all in a bit. Well, there we go, what can we say about that? Great little three hour session this morning on the Neen. We've had nine bream and uh, a few hybrids and a few skimmers and odd bits and bobs. Keep me occupied the first hour was absolutely amazing. I lost another one under the, that swam off under the tree there. Couldn't drag it back under it, but I ain't complaining. So weight wise, estimate I've had high 30s getting on close towards 40 pounds. Um, biggest fish, I only weighed one fish, that was the, the biggest bream I had, that was seven and a half pounds. So that's a hell of a fish. You know, especially for up here, because they, they tend to run three, four, maybe up to five pound. So that was, that was a good fish for a long stretch here. Um, so pleased with that. So, yeah, and on the good news front, I remember to bring the bait today, so <laughs> we wasn't stuck with uh, method, favour and wafter approach. I'm not saying it wouldn't have worked but uh, 
it's nice to have a choice and I do tend to like fishing the ground bait feeder with worm and caster and that so uh, yeah all in all great stuff so it'll be interesting to see how it goes tomorrow in the match um, look out for them results and see see where the weights come from but uh, whoever draws this peg is definitely in, definitely in with chance <laughs> so uh, there you go well anyway that's it for the uh, for the session so uh, just leaves me to say thanks for watching and joining me and uh, I'll see you again real soon oh and if you haven't done already do us a favor subscribe to my channel it doesn't cost anything and it just really helps it helps the ratings of my channel and more people get to see my channel and it just helps it grow so there's no cost to you and all you got to do is just click subscribe and click the bell icon and you get notified of when I'm uh, posting new videos as well but anyway Till next time, cheers.